Alrighty, so I've declamped our shelf here and I've stood it up and all the pieces are still stuck together. It's been about an hour and a half that I let that glue dry and I let it dry for an hour and a half just because there's no screws in here. This is all wood joinery. This is really a, a fine woodworker's um, kind of pose right here. So it's really kind of a neat thing that we've built, kind of by accident. Um, after I pull it out of the clamps, what I am going to look for is these miters. I want them to be really nice and they should, at least the ones that, you're, that you see, should be um, very nice. And so far all mine are. All right, if you um, take yours apart and some of these pop out or if, it's, if, if they're loose, you need to re-glue and then re-clamp them back together so that they um, so that it's all one piece, obviously. Um, since mine is, I don't have to go through that step. All I need to do now is to wipe out and scrape out all those glue buggers. You can do that with a rag or you can grab any kind of little putty knife that you've got here um, and get rid of those. And then after that, before you stain or paint, what I would recommend you do is just go through everything and hand sand it, okay? Chances are you might not have a nice orbital sander and that's the case with me, I don't. So I'm just gonna do all of this by hand. I'm gonna make sure I go with the grain. I'm not gonna try to round over these edges too much because the ones on top here especially turned out very well. Okay, but any kind of sharp corners like right here, I would try to hit um, so that, you know, someone walking by doesn't hit their shoulder on that and then, um, you know, blame you. After I've done all that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a coat of paint on it. You can choose whether or not you want to stain it, uh, paint it, or what some people really like to do is burn pine. In fact, that's that's what I did over here on this little, um, <laughs> this is kind of impromptu, but I made a coat rack and I didn't have any stain and I really hate the look of pine natural, so I just took a torch and burnt the thing. So that's one option for you to do. Um, again, it's fire, this is wood, be careful. Um, any kind of painting or staining you're doing, make sure you've got a well-ventilated room. I've got my door open here. I'll probably open up the overhead door too. Just to uh, just to keep that air flowing. Um, other than that, this project is just about done. I'll do a wrap up video um, once this thing is totally done. But uh, we've just about made it. This is kind of neat. This is a one day project for me, and for you, it shouldn't take all that long either. All right. So I'll look for that next video.